Bridgerton is not just a popular show, it's becoming a global sensation. Garnering over 41 million views in the first four days of streaming. Literally taking over the social media platforms and transporting us to a different era filled with epic love stories, but most importantly, breathtaking fashion. I am literally obsessed. And today, my challenge is pretty simple. Recreate two of the most popular Bridgerton dresses. However, Bridgerton's fashion is very unique and specific to each character's personality, which by the way, I love that they're showcasing uniqueness. We also know that Queen Charlotte is always on the lookout for her diamond. So I must create those two most popular Bridgerton dresses and add a little bit of my own uniqueness to make it sparkle because your girl definitely wants to be chosen as Queen Charlotte's next diamond. So without further ado, <clears throat> yeah, okay, all right, let's just get into cutting and sewing stuff. I don't really know, I'm not a seamstress, but <laughs> We're here in our equipment room. Welcome to Clelea's sewing closet. I bought a couple items for us to be able to make the dresses. Disclaimer, I am not a sewer, but today we're gonna become one. So we got some items to unbox. Again, ain't no way your girl was going to be I literally bought a bunch of gloves and they came with gloves? I think. We'll check. And more gloves! Let's check. I didn't have to spend money on more gloves. They literally came with two pairs of gloves. That's okay. You know what? I don't know when else I'm gonna use this stuff, but I've got a lot of pairs of gloves. So, we've got our first dress. Look how cute this is. Stop, I'm so mad. So obviously, this doesn't exactly look like the dress. So we're going to make it look like the dress. A little bit of a DIY queen over here. I went to the store, a fabric store might I add, which I have not been in a fabric store in literally forever. And we got ourselves some fabric dye. So we are going to go and change this dress to blue. Give me a second. Actually, I forgot. I don't know how to uh, dye stuff unless it's tie dye and we're not really wanting to tie dye anything. So put pre-washed wet fabrics in machine with unwrapped color pod. Run full cotton cycle. Okay, let's hope that this doesn't turn into like a splotchy, uh, tie-dyed mess. So, while I'm waiting for that dress to dye, let's get started on the next one. Multitasker. Ah! I'm so excited for this dress. I might become a seamstress after this, honestly. I should like start making my own clothes, who knows? Maybe, maybe that'll become a thing. This dress is inspired by season two. To say I'm obsessed with the outfits, with the characters, with everything, is an understatement. I mean, you understand, right? We're all Bridgerton fans here. If you're watching to this point, again, you're an OG. But I need, I need you to spam the comments if you are a Bridgerton fan. Because if you're not a Bridgerton fan, I don't know how we're supposed to be friends. Just kidding. I love all of you. This dress is inspired by the season two Miss Kate Sharma, all of our fan favorite Bridgerton princess. Anyways, so her adorable pink dress is what I am going for today. This one is adorable. There's not too much DIY that we're gonna have to do to it. However, I did really like that it had a bunch of sequins and like it was kind of bejeweled all over the flowers. So, your girl went back to the fabric store. We need a big pat on the back for being an adult and going to a fabric store. And I bought some sequins. Don't look at the amount. We got a few pink ones and some white ones. And you best believe we're about to bedazzle the crap out of this entire dress. So, I'm so excited. Although I just realized I don't have any glue. I forgot the glue. Now we're gonna have to go and uh, buy some glue. I'll be right back. We're 
still kind of waiting for the dress to be done. I just wanted to try. <gasps> this is the most elegant. I mean, that's not very elegant because it looks kind of like <laughs> But this is very elegant. Let's try the other one. I mean, maybe the jacket doesn't help at all that it's like, eh. I was meant to be in the Bridgerton era. I was meant to be in the Victorian era. My family lives in Scotland. I literally could be Penelope, writing about all of the gossips and dramas and stuff. Be secret and have a British romance. Oh, stop! That's so tempting. I think by the end of this, I'm gonna need to uh, go and find my Anthony. Or maybe my Colin. <gasps> or the Viscount Duke. This is bad. Okay, I gotta just focus to making dresses. Oh my gosh, this is the most tedious task ever. But it's all for the Bridgerton dress. I just realized I can't like wash this dress. So, we can't get it dirty. <laughs> But that's okay because it's for very professional walks in the park and things like that. <sighs> this is the most tedious thing ever. Those women that like made their dresses, talk about Penelope's dresses. Those dresses were like very extravagant. Very, all the OGs will know, very chicy. I love that word. But like, I'm literally just doing this. I put on a couple jewels, and gosh, I just realized I have to do the rest of the dress. We might not actually have enough jewels to do the rest of the dress, but at least the top will look cute, you know? Proudly say that I'm getting there. I'm so tired, but I can't show you yet. I haven't done the back. Is that okay? It's literally just the front. I don't really care. We only have like this many more left. I am thinking that it's actually looking so good. I'm gonna go try it on real quick. We might actually be done. Guys, it's so cute. <laughs> I can't share. I can't share why I'm laughing. You're gonna have to just see it after. <laughs> but I would say that it is looking close to what we wanted to. Okay, I'm not quite showing you the dress completely. I'm adding a couple more on, but I'm doing it with the dress on so that I can actually get the parts that we're, that we're missing. I think that the DIYs that I have added to the dress are definitely going to make this dress unique and add a little bit of shimmer, literally and hypothetically. See what I did there? Yeah, mm hmm I really, really hope these stay. I can like use this dress when I go to London and I go and find my Prince Charming, my Duke there. Duh, he's gonna see me and be like, oh my goodness, please marry me. I want to court you. But like, seriously, can you imagine? Can you imagine being in that time where my family lives in Scotland? We literally live next to a lord and a lady and they own a manor, the whole ordeal. Maybe that wasn't so long ago. Maybe I still could live out my hopes and dreams of being Countess or... I just wanna be Penelope. That's all I want. Not to mention the second part of Bridgerton season three. It's actually out right now. Is there some secret you will not tell me? And you best believe I am binge watching it as we speak. Obviously not the second, but gosh. I love it so much. Literally, Penelope, pop off. I love her to death. She is my my role model. Maybe one, because I just wanna be her, but two, she's different. She kind of is portrayed as like the black sheep and she's beautiful for her own ways. And I think that that is the most important story that we need to learn is that we're all unique in our own ways. I mean, come on. Can you imagine if, if Daphne was just like Penelope? It'd just be boring to watch the same character over and over again. And you know what? We are too. And I want to be Penelope. But in my own way, remember what we talked about? Yeah, okay. This is a lot harder than we thought, but I believe in us, I think it's gonna work. He needs to work. So far the color's looking fantastic, so this is all we gotta do. I'm learning a lot of DIY tricks. Oh my gosh, it's going to hit me. I don't want to blow this out. 
Where did the needle go? Oh my gosh, guys! This is more stressful than I thought. Okay. Oh shoot, no, get up, get up. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. Shit hockey. Stress is real. We had a bit of a malfun malfunction, but I think I'm getting it now. <laughs> this is hard, but it's all worth it in the end. It's looking pretty good so far, but you can't see. After so much blood, sweat, tears, I'm just kidding, actually no. But after much time, the dresses are finally done. I'm so excited. Ah! This is so much fun. It's like playing dress up. It is like the cutest thing ever. I even tied it in the back a little bit, gave it a little bit of a train. Um, it doesn't have the flowers on it, just like Daphne's, but there's room for improvement. But still, I mean, this is way, way cheaper than her actual dress. And I feel like a princess. I feel, actually not even a princess, I feel like a, I feel like Daphne. I feel like Daphne. Maybe giving a little bit of the aerial vibes, but. <laughs> Kelly, this is my favorite. <laughs> you have no idea how excited and happy I am. <laughs> like this is my new favorite thing in the whole wide world. Look at the jewels on this dress. So I tried my hardest to obviously match the jewels from the dress. You can tell that they're not over here, but that adds a little bit of extra personality to mine. It adds some serious shimmer. Look, when I go like this, you can see that I am a diamond. Yes, ma'am. Anyways, I love this so much. And also these gloves. Can I please just be a part of the Victorian era. And can I just be British? I'm gonna start talking in a British accent from now on. Oh, hello everybody. Welcome. I'm on my little stroll at my beautiful house. I love wonderful walks, just like Penelope and Colin. In my beautiful dress that I made, I'm gonna be the new next diamond, hopefully. Maybe somebody will court me, who knows, but I am literally loving this. If I could literally be Victorian and like wear this every single day, be going on walks in the park like this, my beautiful house, I would love it so much. But on a real note, this definitely is making me live out the dream and I feel even more beautiful and very in style with the dress. So I think that that was the most memorable arts and crafts, I guess you could call it, I have ever done. And I learned a lot. And you know what? Your girl may end up becoming a seamstress and you best believe you're gonna be seeing me in all the clothes that I make for myself. Maybe not. Um, I'm gonna end up regretting saying that. But anyways, honestly, it helped me to really see that you can make your own fashion. I might end up actually wearing those out somewhere and I may actually end up, you know, strolling around the town and enjoying myself because we're all beautiful in our own ways. So thank you for watching. You should definitely come and hang out with me here. I am enjoying this. I hope you're enjoying this. We're vibing, this is fun. So let's continue the fun and come watch this video with me here.